Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 15. Now, we've been talking about Jerusalem, the city, how, how pleasant, how wonderful, how God called her to marriage. But, verse 15, Thou did trust in thy own beauty. Now, remember that. We're going to see something in a moment. It's a beautiful place. Was a beautiful place. Will be a beautiful place. Thou playest the harlot because of thy renown. Sold herself out. And pours out thy fornications. Sexual. Fornication is not always sexual. Between a man and a woman. It can be a city. America has poured out her fornication for oil, for food, for fame, renown. Love us on everyone that passes by. His it was. And of thy garments thou didst take. I like this. And deck his eyes high places with diverse colors. You mean like the Sodomite parades? You mean like Christmas? Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. High places. You mean towers? High rises? Diverse means different colors. And play as the harlot thereupon. Sold yourself out. The like thing shall not come. Neither shall it be so. You're not going to get the best. You're not going to. You're not going to prosper. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my God's gold. And of my silver, God's silver, which I have given thee, and made thyself images of men. That's a viola violation of the commandment. And this commit whoredoms with them. God's calling the city a whore. God's not afraid to call. Sin, sin. It's the media. It's the it's the liberal. It's the worldly Christian that we got to decorate sin. And took his embroidered garments. This is all we read in the beginning of the chapter. And covers them, the nations. Now I set my oil, God's oil. And my incense before them. And it's also the gods and goddesses. As Jeremiah told us, the queen of heaven. My meat also which I gave thee. So, we're getting the aspect here of all the fruits. All the sowing. All the riches of Jerusalem was to be for Jerusalem and the Hebrews. Thou hast set it before them for a sweet Savior. Thus it was, saith the Lord God. Moreover, thou hast taken thy son. And thy daughter, whom thou hast born unto me, given birth. These hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. That's an interesting word. Is this of thy whoredoms a small matter? 
that thou hast slain my children, delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them, Molech. Today in America, we call that Planned Parenthood, we call it abortion. But in the time of Ezekiel and earlier and throughout the Old Testament, When the little children are already born. When they would be cast into the brazen body of flames of Molech. Unwanted children. Today you abort them. Before they're born. Any trimester. And you legalize it. Looks like it was legalized here. No one tried to stop it. Except for God and his prophets. And in all thy abominations and thy whoredoms. You know the, the, the Bible says in Revelation there is the great whore the Catholic Church. You know, there was a time in the Catholic Church when, when a priest would mate with a nun. They're not supposed to, but they did. And they had children. They would get rid of those children. You ever wonder where Catholics got most of their orphanages? Where the children came from? Kind of interesting, isn't it? I mean, the nun and the priest is supposed to be celebrant. Just don't trust them with your altar boys. Or the Pope will have to move them to a new area to violate newer boys. Thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth that we talked about early in this chapter. When thou was naked and bare and polluted in thy blood. Then it came to pass after all thy wickedness. Woe, woe unto thee. Oh, where have you seen two woes before and three? Book of Revelation. Save the Lord God. Book of Revelation has three woes. That's on the whole world. Study those woes out. Studying them out. You know. When the Bible says, well, you better stop. That thou hast built unto thee an eminent place, a high, lofty. I thought they had the temple. They built something else. Right now, they built the dumb of the rock. I didn't say dome, I said dumb. It has made thee a high place in every street. You mean church steeples? Towers? High rises? Capitol buildings? What's the word? Uh, uh, I forget the, the word that the, it was used. I don't know if it's mansion, but the, where the high priests were, were, were living when in time of Jesus. Was it called a mansion or something? Pal palace. High priest palace. Where is that in the Old Testament? Thou hast built thy high place at, at every head of the way. And Jeremiah tells us this. Jeremiah tells us there were altars in every street. Ezekiel tells us there are high places. What are high places? There are altars. Scripture with scripture. Why would, why would you say, Stiley, why would you say churches on every street? Don't every church have an altar? Come on up to our prayer altar. 
get it right with God. Every church has an altar of some kind. Ezekiel and Jeremiah. Come on, if you drive the average town or city in America, on almost street, they have a church building. And I'm amazed that here in Daytona Beach, Florida, we got to take a, sometimes we got to take a detour. And I'm amazed how many churches there are. I'm amazed on how dead Daytona Beach is of God. And your city and town too. I can reference back to the cities in Connecticut where I come from. Thou hast built a high place at the head of, of the way. I thought Jesus is the way. And has made thy beauty to be a horde. And has opened thy feet to everyone that passes by. You mean they had they had a big statue? Bring me your tired, bring me your lame, bring me all yours, and come on the throat, come on in. All are welcome. And multiply thy whoredoms. All are welcome, guys. That's a whoredom. Your church is advertised. All are welcome. That's a whoredom. It's a sin. Those who go into the world and preach the gospel, not bring the world in. Thou hast committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, and God told the Jews, don't go back to Egypt. God told the king, don't go back to Egypt. They went back to Egypt. Great of flesh. I'll leave that one alone. But that's a sexual reference. And has increased thy whoredoms. Got worse. To provoke me, God, to anger. You know what the sins of America is doing? It's making it worse and worse. God bless America. Yeah, it's making God angrier. One day the cup is going to be full and God's going to say, okay, I'm done. You say, well, how do you know that? Because I don't see new Jerusalem, new heavens, new earth, and God bless America. America's going to fall. Behold, therefore I have stretched out my hand over thee. Uh-oh. I have diminished thine ordinary food. Famine, Jeremiah Ezekiel says. Bread, staff of bread. I will deliver thee unto the will of them that hate thee, Chaldeans and Babylonians. The daughters of the Philistines. They're on their back. They've been quiet for a while. Which are ashamed of thy lewd way. The, your enemies are ashamed of what you're doing. You know many nations hate America and what she does. Thou hast played the whore I love God's words. Whore. You pay for sex. You pay for it. It's what a whore is. The city is given to whoredom. She's buying. She's paying. Uh, I'll give you my wheat. I'll give you my treasures. I'll come and love me. Because thou was unsatiable, unsatisfying. Your sin will not, cannot satisfy you. Jesus said, I am the living waters. Whosoever drink of me shall not thirst again. It's spiritually application. Your alcohol, you're going to have to go buy more. Your tobacco, you're going to have to go buy more. That sex, you're going to have to go run and get more. That drugs, you're going to have to get the more prescription. You're not satisfied. 
but the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, and, and long-suffering, it lasts. And it lasts. And it's free. I'm amazed in my health problems I'm having. I'm glad I don't have the alcohol, God. I don't I am so glad I don't have the tobacco God no longer. Thou hast played the harlot with them. Assyria takes or has taken Israel north into captivity. Yet could not be satisfied. I want more. I want more. I can't just have one potato chip. I gotta run out to the fast food place and get that new thing that's on the shelf. And when you get to the store, there's nothing on the shelf. Because your ordinary food's been taken away, America. You can't buy toilet paper. That's an ordinary product, not food. Because you are angering God, you've sold yourself out. Do you realize our military has all the nations in it? If we had another world war, and there's two, at least two more world wars coming, what are you going to do with a world war when your army is made of the nations that would be involved in the world war? If we got in a world war again with the Germans for the third time, we got Germans in the military. If we had to fight Japan again, we got Japanese in the military again. We had to fight the Russians, we got Russians in, the, in our military. Oh, you think just by saying, I take an oath and, 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 and I swear to, to the flag, you think that's going to be their loyalty? We got an enemy called, uh, called the Ishmaelites, called Muslims, Islam, Islamic. Come on. You really think they're going to take the American side? You got your own enemies in your military. And you're turning against God and you're sinning against God and you think God's going to bless you? Thou hast mo moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Cana unto Chaldea. <laughs> the Jews are in Babylon. They're in, and they're still committing sin, where Ezekiel is. You got a prophet preaching in Jerusalem, Jeremiah, and you got a prophet preaching in Babylon, Ezekiel. And yet, thou is not satisfied with it. I want more. Legalize sin. It'll end one day. How weak is thy heart, saith the Lord God. Seest thou doest all these things, the work of an in Perish, horish woman. Commanding, haughty, arrogant, overbearing, domineering, tyrant, addict. That sounds like America. Hey, America's not my home. I'm just passing through. In that thou buildest thy eminent place at the head of every way, and maketh thy high place in every street, and has not been as in harlot. In that thou scornest higher. But as a wife that committed adultery, and wait till we get to um, Daniel, wait till we get to Hosea about that. I think it's Hosea. Go marry a, a whore. Why do you want me to marry a whore? Because I want you to be a symbol of what 
Israel is being demeaned. I want you to go get Gomer. And television makes a, a, a hilarious program, Gomer Pile. All the names you have to choose. As a wife that commits adultery, what is adultery which taketh a stranger instead of her husband? Look at that biblical definition. You can't get around it. That's the biblical definition. And we use Webster's 1828 dictionary, but there is a biblical King James 1611 dictionary definition of adultery. And I wonder what the modern Bible is in. I'm not even going to bother to look it up. There it is. They give gifts to all whores. Flowers, chocolate, money. But thou givest thy gifts to thy lovers. <laughs> Backwards. And hires them. That they may come unto thee. Every side. For thy whoredom. You pay them to commit whoredom with you. And the contrary <laughs> is in thee from other women in thy whoredom. Whereas none follow thee to commit whoredom, in that thou givest a reward. To reward is given unto thee. Therefore thou art contrary. You reward them for sinning. Uh, that's not what the city of Jerusalem was set forth to be. It was to be the light on the shiny hill. Now, run real quick to verse 15. Thy beauty, the harlotry. Chapter 28. Look at verse 12, 28, 12. Son of man, take up the lamentation of the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Oh. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Oh, well, there's Adam. There was God. There was Eve. There was a serpent. And that serpent, according to Revelation 12, was is the devil. Uh-oh. All right. So, so maybe it's Eve. Oh, look. Now has been the garden. Now has been Eve, Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was I covering. The sardis, the topaz, the diamond, the barrel, the onyx, the sapphire, the sapphire, the emerald, the carbon, the gold. I thought, didn't we just read that somewhere? Eve wasn't decked out in all that. The cherubim was. The workmen of thy tablets and thy pipes were prepared in the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub of the cover of thy set thee so. That's the devil, Satan, Lucifer. That was upon the holy mountain of God. That wasn't Eve. Went up and down amidst the stones of the fire. Firewalkers. Thou was perfect in the ways from the day thou was created to iniquity was found in thee. Look at verse 17. Thy heart, didn't we just see something about heart? Was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou has corrupted thy wisdom by the reason of right of brightness. The light at the end of the tunnel, the angel of light. The city of Jerusalem that is God's city has now become the city of Satan. America was a Christian nation. I'll give her that much credit. She lived right, she did right, but she's turned herself over to Satan. And her churches are going to Satan too. While Revelation says Jesus Christ is standing at the door knocking. 
He's not in the churches today. He's outside. 